Hey everyone, my name is Amanda and I'm the Fun Size Reader and today I wanted to talk to you about the announcement that Tracy Wolf released earlier this week about the charm news. I didn't even know if I was going to get this video out to you guys today. To be completely honest with you, I it's been a it's been a hard week. Like I there's been a lot going on and I sat down to try to record videos so many times and I just it, it didn't happen so I like was just not feeling good not feeling myself like not feeling confident about things and I just was like I don't even know if this video is gonna go out but I pushed through it and I pushed that no confidence voice out of the way because this is what I like to do is talk to you guys about books and talk to people about books and so that's what I wanted to do and that's what I'm gonna do charm news so i'm sure all of you have seen the news so far from tracy about the delays of publishing with the paper fiascos that they've been having for printing so originally in my video from the end of last year when i talked about like all of the books that i was looking forward to coming out this year it was supposed to come out way earlier and then it was supposed to come out in july and now it's pushed back to November 8th of 2022. So we still have a few months left, but they're kind of like trickling little stuff here and there for us. So the announcement this week was that she wrote the entire book, Charm, not Cherish, Charm, which reminder to everybody who I'm sure none of you have forgotten, that the Charm is actually the four months that Grace and Hudson were trapped in Grace's gargoyle form. That story. I was re-watching one of Tracy's previous announcement videos and was looking at her posts. I didn't see a live. I thought it was gonna be a live announcement like she normally does. I didn't see one. So if there was one, let me know, but I couldn't find it. But the announcement for Charm is that it is all written in dual perspectives. So this is what I wanted to talk to you guys about today because I have thoughts on dual perspectives. I am not normally a dual perspective person. It doesn't matter who wrote it. It literally does not matter the storyline, who wrote it. Like I just am not a dual perspective person unless it's done extremely well. I can do like third person dual perspectives or third person multiple perspectives. Like when it's a narrator looking down on the characters, I'm fine with that. Not my favorite, but I am fine with it. When it is first person dual perspectives though, ugh, I struggle with those so, so much because I feel like for the majority of them written, the voice of the reader is really hard to grasp. Like, like differentiating the voice from the first perspective is really hard. Unless it's like, like super raunchy, like, like you have grumpy, not grumpy sunshine, but like grumpy bad boy. And then, you know, fluffy girl you know what I mean where sh you can just tell what she is saying and how she is and he you know curses and uses innuendos and it's like very clear different voice I'm really I don't know I'm so worried I I've told you guys before that I've been on the fence about these last two books anyways like I want to read Charm because I felt like I wanted that love story. Like that was the love story that I wanted throughout the whole series. I needed that foundation. We got teased like the beginning of it in Crush with Hudson starting. But then a lot of you, so many of you, like I've talked in comments with about how they just, you just weren't convinced that Grace should be with Hudson instead of Jackson. And I feel like it's because we didn't get this four months. Like if we would have gotten this in the actual 
story like in the books that we've gotten so far I feel like a lot of you would have been so much more gung-ho about the love interest switching to Hudson so like I think that we need this book we definitely need it I know Tracy said it was gonna start as a novella and she hadn't finished writing it as of like a couple months ago she had some things going on in her life and and you can check out the entangled teen announcement for that if you want to know more information that's personal for her so like I don't want to bring that stuff up but she has some things going on in her life which is why she was struggling to finish the book and like completely understandable completely understandable so that's why we've you know been having to wait and then the whole paper issue but like we need this love story and so I'm I want to read it I do I want to read it I will wait for it obviously but like I said in my God, which one is it book four I can I always have to go in order of the names court like I said in my court video I feel like in my head the story ends there and like this book charm is going backwards and you know we're getting that love story finally but in my head like wrap the bow it's done it's sealed it's it's complete but I need that love story so I understand it's starting out, a, out as a novella like if it was a novella, I still would have read it because I wanted that love story, even though I do wish that it was back in the first part of book three or book two. I think it should have been in the beginning of Crush, personally. That's just me. So let's talk about dual perspectives. I really want to know what you guys think about first person dual perspectives. It can be done really, really well, but I think I st like even if it's really good I personally have a hard time separating the dual perspectives and I end up finding one perspective that I care about and the other perspective that I don't care about and so I end up rushing through reading one of the perspectives and then I just get frustrated because I'm like I'm like why why do I even have this perspective if I don't want to read this one I only want to read the other one I struggle with that Midnight Sun was hard to read. I did like it. It was too long. It was way too long. But I did like it, but like I didn't need it. I didn't need Edward's perspective. You know what I mean? I I, I didn't need Christian Gray's perspective. I, I don't even think I have them up there anymore. I read the Fifty Shades series and loved the series. And then I went to go read Gray and I hated it. I hated it. I didn't care about Christian's perspective. I only cared about Anna's perspective. And I, I worry that that's going to happen with charm now that it is all dual perspective. The other thing that worries me is that I feel like, so I talked about this in one of my Zodiac Academy books and, or I'm sorry, videos. And if you haven't read Zodiac Academy, but you love Crave and you're over 18, you're over 18. I am saying that right now. If you are over 18, you can, you know, listen to what I'm about to say. But if you're not over 18, you're not allowed. <laughs> or, you know, talk to your parent or guardian before you do. If you are a Crave Crush fan, I would definitely check out Zodiac Academy because it is very, very similar, but it is for adults. This is YA, that is for adults. There's no question about it, it's 18 or over. I've said in one of my videos in, for the later books in Zodiac Academy that one of the characters kind of seems so different as you go through that particular book. Like the character himself, the way he talks, the way he thinks, like that, that type of character or that character specifically changed in that book and it was not for a specific reason like it didn't go with the plot or anything like that that he had reason to change and I feel like I've noticed that with Hudson and I know don't come at me on this like don't come at me the snarky sexy desirable Hudson that was in Crush I feel like did not carry over as well 
there were scenes, you guys, that we all talked about, like the laundry room scene. And like every time he was in her room and they were, you know, she was talking to him, like there was, there were so many scenes that were like, that just gave you the feels, right? And that he was just like amazing. And then I feel like he turned into very much a cheerleader toward the rest of the series. And I'm not saying that's bad. I'm just saying it was so different from the Hudson that we knew in Crush. So I am a little nervous about how his perspective is gonna be. I really want him to be the Hudson back then. But I think because the whole story has already been written and she's writing it a little bit after the fact, I worry that we're not gonna have the same Hudson that was actually in that time period of the story, that we're gonna actually have this now Hudson, who's a lot different in my, my observation. I know Tracy said that it is going to be Crave length or more is what she said. So it's definitely not going to be a novella, but I don't think it's going to be as long as the other books, which is good because I do think that some of the other books got too long. I am happy that this one is going to be a little bit shorter and that we are getting what we've asked for those damn four months. I don't know why she skipped it. I don't know why. I really did not want that to happen. And like, I don't love amnesia tropes. So just having Grace conveniently forget about it all. I just, I wanted that build up, you know? Like we had that build up all throughout Crush where it was like, we finally got to the end. We got to him saying, you're my, get your hands off my mate. And like we, we built all that up. And then I needed the buildup of the love story. Like, I needed that. Who knows, maybe I'll read this one and it will completely change the way that I felt about books three and four. Maybe, and if that's the case, then like I wanted it in the beginning because I wanted to like carry those feels throughout the whole thing, you know? The other thing that I wanted to just quickly bring up is that if you do Google Tracy Wolf right now, it does show that there is the untitled Remy book that's planned for November of 2023. Um, there is no title. I haven't heard anything more from her about like what it's going to be, what literally nothing. That's just what it shows up on Google. So it is still looking like it's coming. Most of you know, Remy was not my favorite character. So I don't know if I'll be reading it. We'll see. We'll see. All I see is Dr. Facilier from, from Princess and the Frog. Every time I think of Remy, like I can't handle it. I, I, I can't handle it. So I don't know. I don't know if I'll be reading that one. Well, if you haven't pre-ordered Charm yet, definitely, definitely do that, especially probably because they're gonna do the whole like deckled edges thing again. Um, I'll put the link down in the description below so you can just jump to straight pre-ordering that. And then we will have to wait until November. Sorry guys, it's a long time. But it goes fast, it goes fast. There's so many books coming out right now and there's so much fantasy out right now that like there's plenty to read in the meantime. You can always check out my fantasy playlists, my fantasy romance playlists, my uh, romance playlists. <laughs> like I've got so many playlists of everything that you could read in between things on Kindle Unlimited, things not on Kindle Unlimited, YA, non-YA. Like, there's all kinds of stuff. Um, and if you're looking for specific recommendations, you can always you know, leave a comment below, send me a message and I'll do my best. I try to make sure I answer everybody. I can't get to every single message and every single comment, but I really, really try. So um, if you're looking for something specific, <laughs> I get lots of questions about people asking like, I want Hudson in another book. And like my answer is reread Crave <laughs> because you cannot find Hudson in another book. Like every male main character is different. They all have different quirks about them, different personalities. 
There can be some that are like kind of similar, but I've had a hard time pinpointing one specific to Hudson. I, I tend to get a lot of messages that are like, I want him to be a vampire. I want it to be YA. I want it to be snarky like Hudson, but also kind and supportive. And I'm like, so you want Hudson? <laughs> like just reread because I can't check all of the boxes in what I've read. I don't even know if a book out there exists that has somebody exactly like Hudson. So if you know, let me know and I'll put that in my back of my head for when people ask. <laughs> There's plenty, plenty of things to read right now. I'm, I'm in the process of putting together a bunch of other like list videos to get you guys ready for summer. I know we're like kind of already started in summer, but summer solstice was like yesterday. So I've still got some time. Look forward to those definitely. I'm gonna be working on them hopefully tomorrow. Like I said, it's been a rough week. Sick household, I'm not sick, but like caring for everybody in my house that is sick is definitely difficult. But still making sure that I interact with all of you and, and pay attention to everything that's going on in the book world and you know getting this stuff out to you guys. The real MVP of today is actually Makeup Forever and <laughs> their HD foundation. Like I am not a makeup influencer by any, any means. I watch Kathleen Lights on YouTube and I watch Michaela on TikTok and like that's how I know what I do. But like by any means. And I, I'm telling you when I say the real MVP of today was the HD ultra whatever foundation from makeup forever because i legit got got ready to record this video earlier and then a bunch of stuff happened and i just was like sobbing in my kitchen and i was telling my husband like all my makeup's ruined this was a waste and then i went into the bathroom like after i was done crying and it hadn't moved like it nothing came off when they say waterproof they mean waterproof like amazing stuff so if you're looking for a new foundation check it out but yeah literally none of it i just had to read your mascara and that was it so the real mvp is makeup forever okay enough babbling uh like i said i'll put the link in the description down below for the pre-order for charm um november 8th is when we have to wait till but in the meantime don't forget you can also find me on instagram facebook and tiktok at the fun size reader see you guys next time